In computer programming, variadic templates are templates that take a variable number of arguments. Variadic templates are supported by C++ and the D programming language. C++, the variadic template feature of C++ was designed by Douglas Greger and Jorko Jar current CRVI and was later standardized in C++11. Prior to C++11, templates could only take a fixed number of arguments, which had to be specified when a template was first declared. C++11 allows template definitions to take an arbitrary number of arguments of any type. The above template class tuple will take any number of type and names as its template parameters. Here, an instance of the above template class is instantiated with three type arguments. The number of arguments can be zero, so tuple some instance name will work as well. If one does not want to have a variadic template that takes zero arguments, then this definition will work as well. Variadic templates may also apply to functions, thus not only providing a type-safe add-on to variadic functions, but also allowing a PRINTF-like function to process non-trivial objects. The ellipsis operator has two roles. When it occurs to the left of the name of a parameter, it declares a parameter pack. Using the parameter pack, the user can bind zero or more arguments to the variadic template parameters. Parameter packs can also be used for non-type parameters. By contrast, when the ellipsis operator occurs to the right of a template or function call argument, it unpacks the parameter packs into separate arguments, like the args in the body of PRINTF below. In practice, the use of an ellipsis operator in the code causes the whole expression that precedes the ellipsis to be repeated for every subsequent argument unpacked from the argument pack. And all these expressions will be separated by a comma. The use of variadic templates is often recursive. The variadic parameters themselves are not readily available to the implementation of a function or class. Therefore, the typical mechanism for defining something like a C11 variadic PRINTF replacement would be as follows. This is a recursive template. Notice that the variadic template version of PRINTF calls itself, or calls the base case. There is no simple mechanism to iterate over the values of the variadic template. There are few ways to translate the argument pack into single argument use. Usually this will rely on function overloading, or, if the function can simply pick one argument at a time, using a dumb expansion marker, which can be used as follows, which will expand to something like. The use of this pass function is necessary, since the expansion of the argument pack proceeds by separating the function call arguments by commas, which are not equivalent to the comma operator. Therefore, some function, args, will never work. Moreover, this above solution will only work when the return type of some function is not void. Furthermore, the some function calls will be executed in an unspecified order, because the order of evaluation of function arguments is undefined. To avoid the unspecified order, brace and closed initializer lists can be used, which guarantee strict left to right order of evaluation. To avoid the need for a not void return type, the comma operator can be used to always yield one in each expansion element. Instead of executing a function, a lambda expression may be specified and executed in place, which allows executing arbitrary sequences of statements in place. Pass and stdcout syntax is the syntax that perfectly forwards arguments as their proper types, even with regard to a valueness, to the constructor. The unpack operator will propagate the forwarding syntax to each parameter. This particular factory function automatically wraps the allocated memory in a std shared PTR for a degree of safety with regard to memory leaks. Additionally, the number of arguments in a template parameter pack can be determined as follows. The expression sum struct size will yield 2, while sum struct size will give 0. D equals definition equals Definition of variadic templates in D are based on their C++ counterpart. Likewise, any argument can precede the argument list. Equals basic usage equals, variadic arguments are very similar to constant array in their usage. 
they can be iterated upon, accessed by an index, have a length property, and can be sliced. Operations are interpreted at compile time, which means operands can't be runtime value. Anything which is known at compile time can be passed as a variadic arguments. It makes variadic arguments similar to template alias arguments, but more powerful, as they also accept basic types. Here is an example that print the string representation of the variadic parameters. String of and string of two produce equal results. Outputs equals type tuple equals variadic template are often used to create a construction called type tuple. A type tuple definition is actually very straightforward. This structure allows one to manipulate a list of variadic arguments that will auto expand. This enables any operation you would expect. See also, for articles on variadic constructs other than templates, variadic function, variadic macro in the C preprocessor. References External links, Working Draft for the C++ Language, January 16, 2012, Variadic Templates in D Language.